Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your Bibles and turn with me over to the book of Hebrews. We'll be in Hebrews chapter 3 and I want us to look at verse number 13 together as our text verse of scripture let me invite you to get a cup of coffee. Sit with me for just a moment. Let's have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, praise God. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and spending quality time turning the pages of God's precious and holy word. A friend over in the book of Hebrews chapter 3, verse number 13, listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says here, but exhort one another daily. I hope you notice that portion of scripture. Let's read it again. But exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. Friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion titled Being an Encouragement. You know, one of the most important things that you and I as children of God can do is to pick somebody else up. Now, I know I enjoy life when somebody picks me up. I mean, it really helps. It helps your spirit when somebody uh, just lifts you up, encourages you. You know, my friend, uh, when we are burdened down, we find pushing on to be extremely difficult. While I'm speaking this morning, somebody may come to your mind, you know, that may be going through a very troubled time. And one of the greatest things that you can do as a child of God is encourage them. Lift them up, lift them up to the Lord, and then encourage them uh, face to face. And if uh, you can't get uh, face to face with them, at least pick up the phone and call them and offer to them a word of encouragement. Now, I wish that I could tell you that life isn't hard. But friend, you need to understand that life is hard. Life is difficult. Now, I love living and I love life, but it's hard and it's difficult. For some people, perhaps even you, life may seem impossible. My friend, what you may find most striking is how life can seem to be impossible for more people than you can even begin to know. Because life is so difficult, we all need encouragement. We all need encouragement from God as well as we all need to encourage each other. Now listen to me, friend. To encourage others, we must not be negative and discouraging with the words that we say. My goodness, all you've got to do is to turn on the news to hear negative things. Friends, we need to do everything that we can do to be positive. Encourage your fellow believer in Christ to hold on and just to keep on believing. Encourage unbelievers to trust the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. Encourage others to live a godly and a righteous life knowing that their life or your life could be the only Bible some may ever see. Encourage others to resist the, the devil. Encourage others to resist evil. Encourage others to resist darkness. Encourage others to resist sin and temptation. Encourage others and still just go ahead and encourage someone else. You see, encourage others to be kind uh, to all people, no matter who a person is or no matter what their position in life may be, friend, be an encouragement to them. There's a special power staying with the person who is an encouragement. 
And let me tell you, that special power is the power of Almighty God himself. So be an encouragement to any and everyone you can. Notice the scripture again, but exhort, but encourage one another daily while it is today. Be an encouragement. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much for this devotion that reminds us to pick one another up, to be an encouragement to one another. Help us never have a negative spirit, but help us to have a positive, godly spirit making a difference in our world. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I pray that you'll do just that and that you will make a difference in your world. Let others see Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Your life can be the only Bible that some will ever see or hear from. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.